what's up guys, it's Coaster Thrills here, and for today's video, I'll be doing something different, that is discussing my thoughts on the current COVID-19 pandemic and what will happen for all the parks out there. I'll be going through all the chains and major parks that you could most likely be going to pretty soon and when they're planning to most likely be open. And lastly, I'll go through all the changes to what will be at the day at a park until we have that vaccine to where everything will go back to normal. But most importantly, before we start, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more videos on Coasters Often. Also, if you want to see more, make sure to follow our social media pages for updates and much more. But now that that's out of the way, let's start with Cedar Fair, as they have extended their season passes through 2021, which is always good if you're a pass holder. They are pretty much all planning to open in about mid-May, but obviously some parks could be extended, like they said a couple months ago, such as Knott's Berry Farm, California's Green America, Carowinds, and King's Dominion. But more recently, as states start to open back up, parks will too. So, of course, all the parks will not open up at the same time. So, expect all, like, for Cedar Fair Parks in California and parks such as Cedar Point and Kings Island to open at their earliest, May 29th. And also Virginia, including King's Dominion, will be able to open at the earliest, June 10th, while pretty much all the other parks will most likely open in mid-May or late May, depending on what states say. So as we continue to Six Flags, the same with Cedar Fair, their parks will open at different times in different states. Now, expect these parks to reopen first because of when the states are opening, those are Six Flags Fiesta Texas, Over Texas, Over Georgia, St. Louis, and Frontier City. Those will probably open very soon, like in mid-May or maybe a little bit of late May, but as Six Flags plans to open on a park-by-park -park basis, of course recommended by the states. Once again, all of the parks in California will most likely not reopen for months because it is one of the biggest states with the virus and I don't expect, so just don't expect any parks in California to open for a while. And also the East, since it has been heavily impacted, will not open probably until like June, like New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and New York. So next we'll go to SeaWorld, and they're looking good, especially mostly with our parks in Florida. Florida, with my two home parks, is starting to open up the state that is most likely the parks in Florida other than Disney and Universal are going to open up in May, probably mid-May as they have the date set for May 16th. As for the other SeaWorld Park, San Diego is in California, so we know what will happen there. And San Antonio, with the other Texas parks, will probably open in mid-May, as from what we've heard. So now, Disney Parks, and honestly, I have no clue, just because of how dis big Disney is, and how many people go there in a day. Probably, they'll probably say they would not reopen until there's a vaccine, or at least a treatment, which could even be 2021. The same probably goes for Universal, as they they get high crowds and will most likely open once there's a vaccine, even though I could maybe see them opening before that but with these precautions. Obviously, this is a very serious situation and we need to stay safe, so until there's a vaccine too. With all the parks, they're probably going to open in about May. There's obviously going to be some precautions with them opening. Those are the parks taking your temperature once you enter the park. The park will either be at maximum 50 to 75% capacity, all the employees will be wearing face masks and all the guests will be recommended to and that's what for sure you should be doing. There will be hand sanitizer stations everywhere like in restaurants, the ride entrance, front gate, and by the walkways too of course to have the guests all be sanitized which is of course really important. There will also be most likely a, a piece of tape marking six feet of distance between people in the lines which I can see being very frustrating but finally everything will be wiped down such as the trains and rails. And maybe the parks could even use a virtual queue for the rise which would be really good because first of all it reduces contact contact with other people, what's really great for people like me is waiting, when you're waiting, is to get footage of the coaster. And the last parks I'll be talking about in this video is pretty much all the parks that are not in the chains I just talked about, and they'll be going with what the state and they are located in says. So that will wrap up this video. I know it was a little different than what I normally do, but I just wanted to make a video in this current situation we are facing. So what do you think? Make sure to post that in the comments below. I read every comment. Love you guys have to say. And of course, make sure to subscribe for more videos on Coasters Often. And see ya.